The ultimate ranking of travel destinations aims to solve a serious problem. So many places to visit, so little time. But even in a world with a trillion destinations, some manage to stand out and rise to the top. From the sleek skyscrapers of Dubai to the emerald green waters of the Bora Bora Lagoon, you're sure to find at least one vacation that piques your interest. So in this video, we are going to discuss top 10 best travel destinations in the world. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. New Zealand South Island New Zealand South Island brims with majestic landscapes at every turn, from dramatic mountains to spectacular fjords. Here, you can admire the mountains of Fjordland National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, from hiking trails or a boat on Milford Sound. At night, journey to the University of Canterbury's Mount John Observatory to gaze at the starry skies. You can also indulge your inner daredevil in Queenstown, a favorite destination among bungee jumpers, sample delicious Sauvignon Blanc wine in the Marlborough region, or explore New Zealand's most accessible glaciers, Franz Joseph and Fox Glacier, on the island's west coast. Number 9. London, England London is a world unto itself. The eclectic neighborhoods, which are home to a blend of historical landmarks and modern-day attractions, can keep you occupied for days. If it's your first time in London, plan to see the top spots, such as the Tower of London, the Tate Modern Art Institution, Buckingham Palace, Borough Market, and the British Museum. Before sitting down to a classic afternoon tea or checking out a local pub, the best time to travel to London is during the warmer months, but be warned that this is also the busiest and most expensive time of year. Number 8. Phuket Located in southern Thailand, Phuket offers something for everyone, especially budget-minded travelers. Activities like spa treatments and boat tours come with low price tags as do accommodations. For stunning scenery, check out the limestone cliffs of Fang Enga Bay, and lounge on Phuket's gorgeous white sand beaches. Freedom Beach and Bangtou Beach are two visitor favorites. Other must-see attractions include Wat Chalong Temple and the Big Buddha. Once the sun sets, take part in the island's lively nightlife scene. Number 7. Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Everything is bigger and better in Dubai. Home to one of the world's largest shopping malls, the world's tallest tower and one of the world's largest man-made marinas. This Las Vegas-like urban center in the United Arab Emirates has an eclectic mix of activities for visitors to enjoy, including beaches, water parks, tons of shopping, and even an indoor ski resort. Outside the skyscraper-filled city, the vast desert awaits, best enjoyed via quad biking or sandboarding. Number 6. Lisbon, Portugal. Lisbon, the capital and largest city of Portugal, is known for its rich history, picturesque neighborhoods, and stunning views of the Atlantic Ocean. One of the main attractions in Lisbon is the Historic Center, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and home to many of the city's most important landmarks, such as the Bellum Tower, a 16th-century fortress that sits on the banks of the River Tagus, and the Geronimo's Monastery a late Gothic monastery that is one of the most iconic buildings in Portugal. The city is also home to many museums, such as the Calaust Gulbenkian Museum, which has an extensive collection of art, and the National Museum of Ancient Art, which has a vast collection of Portuguese art and artifacts. Number 5. Tahiti, French Polynesia. Flavorful French cuisine, top-notch resorts, warm waters, need we say more? Though Tahiti can be pricey, travelers say it's so worth it. The largest of the 118 French Polynesian islands, Tahiti is split into two main regions, connected by a land bridge. Tahiti Nui, the larger region, is home to the island's capital Papeete and surfing hotspot Papanu Beach, while Tahiti Iti, the smaller region, offers more seclusion and the bright white sands of La Plage de Mali. Number 4. Bora Bora, French Polynesia. Though it's a little more than two miles wide and just six miles long, Bora Bora packs in an abundance of natural beauty. To start, you won't be able to take your eyes off the island's turquoise lagoon surrounded by lush jungle. 
If you're looking for more than relaxation on your trip, consider hiking or booking a 4x4 tour of Mount Otamanu, part of an extinct volcano that rises 2,400 feet above the lagoon. You can also snorkel among the coral reef of Coral Gardens, where you might catch a glimpse of reef sharks, eels, and stingrays. Number 3. Machu Picchu, Peru Located high in the Andes Mountains of Peru, Machu Picchu is now believed to have been a sacred royal retreat for the Incan rulers. Built in the 15th century AD and abandoned less than a 100 years later, the remote site continues to amaze with its perfectly joined, mortarless, intricate stonework. Huge multi-ton blocks of stone are perfectly joined with each other, without the use of mortar or cement. The journey to Machu Picchu typically starts in the mountain city of Cusco, which was the capital city of the Inca Empire. Cusco is a fascinating place to explore. Be sure to spend a few days there before or after your Machu Picchu adventure. It's possible to hike the Inca Trail from Cusco to Machu Picchu. The full hike takes five days, but you can also start closer in Duabon. Two or three day hike along the trail. Most people take the train from Cusco, which takes about three and a half hours. Machu Picchu has taken steps to avoid over tourism and has limited the number of visitors to the site each day. All visitors need a permit prior to visiting. They are easily available from the Peruvian Ministry of Culture Reservation page up to four months in advance. Number 2. Rome, Italy. The Eternal City is more like a giant living museum. Visitors are immersed in and surrounded by thousands of years of history. It's a relatively compact city, and a three-day itinerary gets you to the minimum number of must-see places. It is famous for its historic and ancient built-up structure, which makes the city's view incredibly magical. The city's various attractions include the Vatican City and the Colosseum, famous for their extensive history. These must-see sites for any visitor include the Colosseum and adjacent Roman Forum, the Pantheon, and Vatican City, a separate country in the middle of central Rome. Take some time to explore the outskirts of Rome too. Consider a hike along a tomb-lined section of the Appian Way, the ancient Roman superhighway, and a visit to one of the aqueduct ruins outside the city. If you feel like hitting the beach after all your exploring, Rome has a wonderful assortment of beach towns just a short drive away on the Lazio coast. Escape the heat, hustle, and bustle of the city to bathe in the cool waters of the Tyrrhenian Sea. Number 1. Paris, France Paris has it all. Incredible cuisine, legendary landmarks, and centuries of history. Those are just some of the reasons it's the second best place to visit in the world. Though you'll want to spend your time hitting up popular tourist spots like the Eiffel Tower and the Musée d'Orsay, you should also carve out time to explore other parts of Paris. The city's 20 diverse neighborhoods, called arrondissements, for instance. Standouts include the second arrondissement, which touts covered passages and some of the city's hippest restaurants, and the romantic 18th arrondissement, with charming squares, cages and bars, set apart from the city's more tourist-packed areas. Popularly known for the Eiffel Tower, the city of romance is a favorite to many. It is no surprise that it is among the top tourist destinations. The magnificent Eiffel Tower is what puts Paris out there. However, that's not all you get to experience. There is the Arc de Triomphe and the Louvre for the history buffs out there. Wander along the cobblestone streets of Paris to will find one of the best cuisines and breathtaking art culture. From beautiful museums, art galleries, and old churches to the natural beauty of trees along the river scene. Among the best thing to do in Paris is to join the river scene cruise. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.